Hi guys, I'm Manuel Akonji and I'm going to answer your questions in Ask Man City Anything. Stick around until the end, I'm gonna finish with a question for you too. And the first question is from Naden, a former Man City defender. Hey Manuel, my name is Naden Manuha, former player for the club. And what I'd like to know is what have you enjoyed the most since you joined? And secondly, is Manchester starting to feel like home yet? Because the way you play is as if you've been here your whole life. I think what I enjoy the most is just like being a part of this team. Um, I really enjoy to be on the pitch with them in training, in the games. Um, it makes so much fun, especially when we are winning games and I feel really confident there. And yeah, that's why I think it also feels a little bit like home already. I mean, it's been a short time, but it's going to even feel better when I'm going to be here a little bit longer. Next question. Hi, Manuel. This is Molv in Dallas, Texas. Welcome to City. You have great technique with the ball. Are there other positions you could play for Pep? Um, I don't know. You should ask the coach about it. Um, I think I'm the best at centre back. I played some games as a fullback, but I'm, I'm more confident in as a, um, as a centre back. And yeah, I think that's my best position to play in. If, but if the coach needs me in another position, I will play there as well. All right, next question. Hey, Manuel. Martin Boyens from South Africa here. You've obviously adapted to the Premier League extremely well. Are there any attributes from your fellow centre backs at City that you feel you can improve on? And also, how long until even you can't calculate Haaland's goal tally? <laughs> um, yes, there's a lot of things I can learn, not only from the centre backs, but also from the other players. But obviously, from the centre backs, I look more into what they're doing in training. And yeah, I'm trying to see what they're doing because they played longer under the system and what it needs to be done in the game. And um, yeah, about the game, uh, the goals of Erling. I don't even know how many he has right now. I just, I'm just happy if he keeps on scoring the goals for our team and we're winning the games. He's taking quite a short run up. He steps up and puts it into the corner of the net. And City lead by two goals to nil. And Haaland is on another Etihad Stadium hat trick. And then we go on to the next question. This one is from uh, Jensen Jack. How comfortable do you feel having a goalkeeper like Ederson behind you, knowing how good he is with his feet and how different it is compared to some other goalkeepers you have played with? I really have to get uh, adapted to it because like, I remember in my, one of my first trainings when the other centre back, it was I think Ruben, Ruben Diaz, um, had the ball. I tried to open in front of Ederson and the coach like yelled at me to, to go even wider because Ederson is like a keep uh, like a like a player in, in, in a team who helps in the building up as well. So I had to go even wider, and I wasn't really used to that. Um, in the national team, we got a keeper with Jan Sommer that is also really good with with his feet. So I'm a little bit used to it, um, but I think also with the keeper that can kick it that far, I've never had something like this before. looking to come forward, Harlan's looking to get there, he will do, and he'll score! It was a long ball forward, and Harlan was just too strong, he bounced off a couple of defenders and put it into the unguarded goal, an assist from Edison, a finish from Harlan, it's 1-0 City. We go on to the next question. Hi Manuel, it's Kel Spellman here from Match Day Live. First of all, I want to say a massive welcome and thank you for hitting the ground running at Manchester City. I think it's safe to say you've made a massive impression on All Blues and you look like you've been here for years. I wanted to ask you though, what do you attribute the way you've settled in so quickly to? And also, how difficult is it coming into a Pep Guardiola system? And looking forward to seeing you take to the pitch again soon. Cheers, man. I think they they brought me here or they wanted me here because of the the way i play because i like to play from behind um i'm i'm pretty fast as a defender i'm physically um can defend good in one v ones and that is i think what what they want from a center back at man city and the way they play and for me i think it wasn't it wasn't that difficult for me to settle in it was obviously a lot of new things that i had to learn but it wasn't that that hard for me because we are a team that uh, likes to have the ball a lot. We play from the, from behind. Um, we got centre backs that are involved in the in the offensive game as well. So that's something I really like to do. And it, it wasn't that hard for me. But there's still like a lot of new things that come 
uh, come to us every day and every game. So yeah, we still got to be ready every day. Hi Manuel, my name is Amir. I'm a tactics writer and a Manchester City fan. I wanted to ask you about the different qualities you think a centre-back needs to thrive in a high-line system against which qualities you think are important when defending your own box in settled defence, more deep and close to your goal. Thank you very much. So I think um, it's important that, um, for uh, when we when we defend up high that you that you need to know how to read the game, like when you know when to when to step out, when you stay in your position, and yeah, it ob obviously helps a lot if you're good in one we once because that, that needs to be done from a lot of um, our centre backs in the in the way we play, and yeah, when you got some pace, it's not it's not that bad as well, and when you defend deeper. Um, it depends where the ball is, but it's always important that we, as like the defenders, stay on the same same height so we can control the, uh, the offside line. And sometimes one of us needs to step out, and then the other three need to need to say get the back of the of the defender that just that just went out. And yeah, especially also on crosses. Um, yeah, it takes different things that we need to do on the on the game. And yeah, important is that we that we communicate with each other and always have each other's back. We go on to the next question. Hello Manuel, Colin from Manchester. Both require you to think fast, but which was harder to learn, mental arithmetic or playing out from the back? I think uh, playing out from the back because it's, um, it's a process that I'm, I'm still learning. Um, I mean, at one point are you really, like, you can't outlearn it or like, you never, yeah, how should I say, you're never at the at the top of your game, you still need to learn a lot of more things. And in some games it's easier, in some games it's not. So I'm trying to get better every day. To the next question. Hey Manol, this is uh, Francisco with MCFC Austin. Me and my mates were watching the game and we basically were comparing you to Vincent Company, obviously a club legend for us. Um, so I wanted to know if he was an inspiration to your style of play and if there were any other former City players or non-City players that inspired your style. Um, you're doing awesome. We are um, very, very happy to have you, and we're looking forward to keep, to see you continue to play with us. Yeah, I watched uh, Vincent Company play a lot um, when he when he was at Man City. Uh, he was one of the best defenders around the time, maybe the best defender in the world at his at his prime, when you can say it like that. Um, he was really good, and I tried to do yeah some stuff like like hit it when he was when he was um, back here, and. I mean, I watch a lot of football and it's not like one certain player that I really see as a role model or take a lot of its stuff. Like I, I look at a lot of games and uh, I see players, things, what they do and I try to do it sometimes. Sometimes I, I think I can do it a little bit in a better way, but I try to learn out of every game that I'm watching. So before I go, I got one question for you. What's been the highlight of the season so far? Thanks for your question. It's been nice getting to know you a little bit better and uh, see you soon on the pitch. Bye.